In today's video, we're diving into how to customize your WordPress website using the Generate Press theme. So if you're looking for a fast, lightweight theme that's easy to customize, then Generate Press is a fantastic choice. Whether you're just starting out with WordPress or you've been building websites for a while now, this tutorial will walk you through the customization process step by step. We'll be covering everything from basic layout changes to adding custom colors, typography, and more. By the end of this video, you'll know how to make your website look exactly the way you want it to. So let's go ahead and get started. So before we jump into the actual customization, let's quickly talk about what Generate Press is. Generate Press is a lightweight WordPress theme known for its speed, performance, and flexibility. It's perfect for people who want a fast website without compromising on design and customization options. Generate Press comes in two different versions. There's the free version and the premium version. The free version is fantastic if you're just starting out and you want to test the waters, but for more advanced features, you might want to upgrade to the premium version. In this tutorial, we'll be showing you the premium version. If you haven't already installed Generate Press yet, let's quickly go over how to do that. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to your WordPress dashboard. Now we're using ours through Hostinger, which if you want to get started with Hostinger, we'll leave a link for that down in the description as well. But what you're going to want to do here is we're going to come into our WordPress dashboard. We'll go to appearances, themes, and if you haven't already installed Generate Press, we'll go ahead and add new theme, come up here, search for generate press and go ahead and download it there. And that's it. You now have the free generate press theme installed and we can start customizing. Now, again, I'll be showing you the premium version of generate press, but to just get started, you can get the theme for free in your WordPress dashboard. Now, if you did want to go ahead and get started with generate press premium, we'll leave a link for that down in the description below, which will bring you to this page here. From here, just click on get started and you can go ahead and choose from one of generate presses different plans. So there's Generate Press 1, which includes Generate Press Premium, as well as Generate Blocks Pro and Generate Cloud. That comes out to $149 per year. But if you just wanted to get started with the Generate Press Premium, you can do so for $59 per year here. And this is the theme that we have installed on our WordPress website for this tutorial. So now that we have the theme installed, let's start by customizing the layout of your website. Generate Press gives you a ton of flexibility when it comes to layout options so that you can create a look that matches your brand. To get started, we're going to go ahead and click on appearance and then click on customize. Or if you're in this page here, you can go ahead and click on customize right here as well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hold command and then click customize so that this opens up in a separate window. So one of the first things that you want to do is adjust the container layout. So the container is the area that holds all of your content and you can control its width and spacing. So in the customizer, we can go ahead and go to layout and click on container. And then from here, we can go ahead and adjust the container width. So if we wanted a more narrow looking website, we could move it over to the left. And if we wanted a wider website, we could go ahead and move that over to the right. Now, either of these will be responsive, but if you just want it to have a wider or narrower container, you can go ahead and do so right here. So if you want a wider look, you can increase the width here. I recommend keeping it somewhere between 1100 and 1300 pixels for a clean modern design. So we'll go ahead and max this out here at 1300 and select OK. You can also change the container layout to separate containers or just one container here. So this kind of combines everything together in the one container look or if you have separate containers, all of these will have their own little place that they live. It's really up to you and how you want to design this. So many WordPress themes come with a sidebar by default, but with Generate Press, you can easily customize or remove. So we'll go ahead and click back here and we're going to go ahead and click on sidebars. Here you can choose to have a sidebar on the left, right, or remove it entirely. If you want a full width layout with no distractions, just set it to no sidebar. So we'll go ahead and select all these and just collect no sidebar. And that kind of gives us a cleaner look right off the bat. So we'll go ahead and click publish just so that saves. Next up is the header section of your website. So this is where your logo and navigation menu live. And it's the first thing that visitors will see when they land on your site. If you have a logo for your website, now's the time to upload it. We'll go ahead and and come back here and we'll go all the way back here to site identity. We'll go ahead and click on that. And then here under logo, we can go ahead and click on that. And here you can go ahead and upload a logo that you have for your brand and for your website. Now just note right here, it says that the site icon, which is something different than the logo, but this is what you see in your browser tabs, bookmarks bar and within the WordPress mobile app. So you want to make sure that that's square and 512 by 512 pixels in size. Now, if you don't have a logo yet, you can just use this site title.
title and tagline for now. But if you're looking to create quick logos, tools like Canva can definitely help you design one in minutes. So we'll go ahead and upload a logo real quick. We'll come here, come over to pictures, and there we go. You can go ahead and upload a logo just like that. And we'll go ahead and click on select. And here you can go ahead and crop it if you'd like, but we'll go ahead and hit skip cropping for now. Now, as you can see, this is way too big for this. So we're going to want to go ahead and make that a bit smaller. So we'll go ahead and just use this logo width here and bring that all the way down. For the site title, we'll go ahead and call this my first website. And there we go. And right now, the hack tagline check mark box here to hide it is checked. So we'll go ahead and uncheck that. And you can go ahead and see that is what your tagline would look like right there as well. Now, one thing to remember as you're going here, it's a good idea to always hit publish here to save your work periodically so that you don't lose your hard work. To adjust how your header looks, what we're going to do is we're going to come back here. We'll go to layout and we'll go to header. So here you can choose different header layouts. For example, you can place the navigation menu above or below the logo, or you can just have it center everything. So under the header presets, we have it what it's set on, which is current. We can click on default classic and we're going to hit navigation before navigation after and we'll go ahead and hit publish. Now, if you're using a dark background for your header, you might want to make sure that the text and the links. So one of the great things about generate press is how easy it is to customize the colors of your website. So whether you want a light and bright design or something dark and bold, it's all possible with just a few clicks. So here's how we are going to set up global colors. So we'll come back here to the customizer and then we'll come down here and click on colors. So here you can set global colors for your website. This means that you can control the background color, the text color, link color, and more all from just one place here. So to change a color, all you do is simply click on a color here from the color swatch and then choose your new color and then watch those changes take place everywhere. So what we'll go ahead and do, we'll go ahead and change this black to a bright green and we can see that go ahead and change. So we'll go ahead and leave that black though. But if you want to make any changes to your colors right here is where you can do that. Now, if we click here into the body, so anywhere where we're editing the body on our website, the background will be white, the text will be black and links will be blue or black. And you can go ahead and make these granular changes for every piece of your website here from the top bar to the header, primary navigation, buttons, content, forms, sidebar widgets, footer widgets, and the footer bar. So if you wanted to have one page have a specific background or text color, this is where you could go ahead and make those changes globally. So typography is a huge part of any website's design, and it's going to affect the readability, the tone, and just really the overall aesthetic of your website. So let's make sure that your fonts are looking sharp. So setting font families and sizes. So what we're going to do back here in the customizer, we're going to click on typography. And from here, you can choose the font family for different sections of your site. For example, you might want a bold font for headings and something a bit more readable for body text. So let's click on the add font from the font manager. And here we can go ahead and scroll through the different fonts that they have available here. We'll go ahead and just select Helvetica for now. And we'll go ahead and click on add font. And then for the typography manager, we can go ahead and click on that. And here, this is where we can go ahead and make changes to specific areas of our website where we want to change the typography. So for example, if we wanted to change the site title, this is where we could come in here and get really granular with the different typography settings. For example, if we wanted to raise this from 25 up to something like 45, we go ahead and do that. And we went ahead and see how that got this bigger up here. Or maybe you wanted it to be a bigger weight. So maybe instead of just default, we'll set that to bold and go ahead and see that get a little bit bolder and we want it even more, maybe something like 800. There we go. And now we have that really dense looking title. Go ahead and click on publish. So again, you can also adjust the font size, weight and spacing. Now let's talk about customizing the blog layout. So if you're running a blog, you'll want to make sure that the layout looks right. So generate press gives you some great options to customize your blog layout. Go ahead and head back to the customizer. And from here, we'll go ahead and click on layout and click on blog. And from here, you can go ahead and choose either excerpt or full content. Next, we'll be customizing the footer. So the footer is often overlooked, but it's an important part of your website. So whether you want to display a copyright message or add links to your social media, Generate Press makes it easy to customize. So we'll come back from the customizer, click on layout and then click on footer. Um, and here you can go ahead and change the width. So whether it's full or it's contained, you can go ahead and see this at the bottom here. I kind of like the way the contained looked. So it's in line with this container here. The inner footer width, we can go ahead and select either contained or full. We'll go ahead and leave that on contained. And then here we can go ahead and select the amount of footer widgets. So either zero, one, two, three, four, or five. Now, one more thing that we're going to do here in our tutorial is come here to the menu section. And from here, it's saying that it does not look like your site has a menu.
menu yet and it's going to ask if we want to build one and we'll go ahead and say yes click on create new menu it's asking it for us to create a menu name we'll just call it menu and we'll go ahead and just click on primary menu there and click next and from here we'll go ahead and start adding items so we'll go ahead and add an item maybe we'll call this blog and then since we don't have any pages yet we'll go ahead and add a new page here for blog and we'll go ahead and click add so now we have a blog there and maybe we'll create a new page called about we'll go ahead and add that and we'll go ahead and create a, another page called contact and we'll go ahead and add that and now you can go ahead and see that we have those menu items up here in the top right and if you did want to reorder these for some reason you can go ahead and click right here on reorder and then you can move these up or down however you see fit go ahead and click on publish to make sure that we save these changes and that's a wrap on customizing your WordPress site using generate press as you can see this theme gives you so much control over the look and feel of your website without overwhelming you with too many options so whether you're using the free version or the premium version you have the tools that you need to create a website that's fast responsive and perfectly tailored to your style if you're ready to get started with generate press then again you'll find links down in the description to get started this is an affiliate link which means that we do earn a small commission if you end up using it at no additional cost to you your support through this link helps us continue creating free content just like this so if you end up using it we thank you so much in advance and if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you never miss another video from us here on this channel we make tons of videos on how to create websites we explore different website builders go over domain names and so much more so be sure to subscribe but other than that thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video Thank you.